Model Christy Brinkley has long called her compound in the Hamptons, New York home. For over two decades, that is. She's raised her three children here and Christy herself said this Bridgehampton estate called Tower Hill is the one place she's lived in the longest her entire life. Well, aside from this beautiful property, Christy formerly owned another property in the Sag Harbor area of the Hamptons, which she sold in 2019 for $17 million and has a beach getaway over in the Turks and Caicos, which you can even rent out. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. Oh, and once you watch, let me know what you think of our home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Christy Brinkley is a model, actress, and entrepreneur who gained global fame for her multiple appearances in Sports Illustrated Swimsuit issues. She appeared on three consecutive covers in 1979, 1980, and 1981. Also spending 25 years as the face of CoverGirl and appeared on more than 500 magazine covers. Her sprawling estate in the Hamptons, about two hours from Manhattan, New York, has served Christy as her home base between her adventures around the world. Christy said, This home is the one place that I've lived the longest in my entire life. In my career, I traveled a lot. I actually found this house when I was pregnant pregnant with my baby, Sailor, and tried to get it ready in time for us to be here when she was born. And I pretty much did that. It would be this stunning home that Christy continued to raise her three kids in and continued to live for over 22 years. Called Tower Hill, the residence is famous for its tower that dates back to 1891. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today, we're looking at where Christy Brinkley calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. Christy Brinkley's current home is her longtime compound in the Hamptons, New York, more specifically in the area of Bridgehampton, which covers a massive 20 acres of land. Reports show that the model bought the sprawling property back in 1998 for $3.2 million, and it's made up of three separate structures, including a 50-foot tall observation tower dating back to 1891, which gave the residence its actual name of Tower Hill. A few years ago, Christy seemingly had her longtime home on the market for $29.5 five million dollars but since she had never found a buyer for this Hamptons home it appears to be where she's still living for the foreseeable future and of course she pulled it off the market out of all the homes she's lived in this is the one she's called home the longest and also the one that she chose to make her family home base Christy also revealed about the historic tower that the tower has so much history they found the oldest flag in America that predates Betsy Ross it's the Hulbert flag and it's now in a museum the model has often given given fans glimpses into her luxe house which is full of personality and character, including paintings with nautical themes, Chinese lanterns, and plenty of family photos on display. Despite Christy originally being a California girl for decades, she's called the Hamptons home and has concentrated most of her real estate here at the tip of Long Island. Her stunning property has both wooded and open land, while the traditional style main house boasts three floors along with six beds and 5.5 baths, while the other structures on the property add more beds and baths. The secondary structures with guest quarters include the guest house itself, which has four bedrooms, as well as a separate artist studio. And combined with the main house, the compound spans over 11,000 square feet of space. In terms of style, the abode is full of Christie's personality, charming, unique, and sophisticated, but also has a homey feel. Outside, the exterior is classic in style with a shingled front and interiors are light filled and airy. The double height great room is stunning, offering floor to ceiling windows and wood paneling along with rustic wood flooring underfoot. Christy also makes sure to include pops of greenery and plants in every room of her home. Other highlights include a country style eating kitchen with terrace and a handful of other reception rooms. The estate was completely restored in 1998 by Christy and her ex-husband, architect Peter Cook, while in recent years it's been updated even further. The model often posts clips from 
inside her Hamptons house, usually in her Lux kitchen, which is the space that Christy dubs the heart of the home. Her kitchen is where she likes to display most of her treasured belongings, including her custom kitchen table, which was made with materials that she found on a Europe trip with ex-husband Billy Joel in Rome, Italy. Her kitchen also has an abundance of countertop space and upscale appliances, but Christy, while well, she likes to redesign and rework this room as well, she said. Because we're in there so much, I like to keep it fresh. I'll switch out the tables. Sometimes I'll switch out what flanks the table, and sometimes I'll really overstuff the kitchen. One of Christy's favorite elements in the kitchen is on the other side of a wall of windows, called her kitchen tree. The giant maple tree is hundreds of years old, and she loves to drape it in string lights, which really lights up at night and make for a magical atmosphere. All of the greenery in the kitchen, this tree included, make this room even more welcoming. There's also an attached terrace where the tree is, where Christy and her family can also have little bonfires. If they don't want to have a fire outside, there's also a roaring fireplace in the kitchen with a TV beside it, where Christy says she and her kids often gather when they come to visit. This is likely the coziest part of the kitchen, and across the bottom of the fireplace, there's texts that read Tower Hill, which is a historical reference to the original owners of the home. This estate, which dates back hundreds of years was built and owned by the Gardner family, but Tower Hill is a nod to the home's tower. Christy said about this feature, from the tower you can see all over Long Island. You can see out to Montauk, across to Connecticut. It's really a great view. The ocean to the south and the bay to our north, and it's all visible from there. It's an old house. It's very beautiful. In fact, the observation tower is 50 feet high and definitely the signature of the estate. You can even see Gardner's Island from here and the North Fork Peninsula. Well, this fireplace in the kitchen is only one of three in Christie's home, and other highlights include an office, a home gym, and a gorgeous sunroom full of light and polished wood flooring. The freestanding artist studio is a dream space with floor to ceiling windows in open loft style. There's also a greenhouse on the property, as Christie has often shared her love for gardening, as well as keeping her produce all natural. In her greenhouse, she has a ton of fruits, vegetables, and flowers, even an avocado tree she named. Brad Pitt. The entire estate has been Christie's dream for raising a family as it's full of rolling hills and elsewhere a pond. She even revealed, when we get snow in the winter, kids come from near and far and bring sleds and everyone, including my kids, would play. Now that her kids are grown adults, it's not likely they do the same activities, but there are plenty of other things to do here. The grounds of Christie's compound offer multiple stone terraces to entertain, gardens, walking trails, a tennis court, and of course, a gorgeous heat swimming pool. Well, this might be Christie's main family home, but she's also owned other properties in the Hamptons and maintains a vacation property in a sunny destination. So let's check those out. In 2019, Christie let go of another Hamptons property she owned, this one in the Sag Harbor area. It took her almost a decade to sell this historic abode, but considering she reportedly sold it for $17 million, well, it was worth the wait. Boasting 4.44 acres of land, the mansion was originally built in 1843 and updated immensely over the years. Still, it maintained many period details, including the grand columns out front, the wide plank pine floors, oak banisters, and multiple fireplaces. Inside the 5,500 square foot home, there are five bedrooms, one of which was tucked away on the third floor beside a study and large storage space, along with 5.5 baths. The first floor was set up with multiple dining areas, a spacious marble and soapstone kitchen, a pantry, a mudroom, and living areas, like a huge great room. Up on the second floor, there were the four remaining bedrooms, three with en suites, and of course, the master, which also had a private balcony and sitting room. Outside, the property had gardens and a bayside gunite pool, as well as over 300 feet of private sandy beachfront overlooking harbor and open water views. After having the property on and off the market at drastically different prices since 2004, Christie added some touch ups to the exterior and gave the place a little bit of a refresh, relisting it in 2016. 16 for $25 million. And until she finally lowered it a bit, it then sold in 2019. When Christy isn't in the Hamptons, she also owns a dreamy beachfront residence in the sunny Turks and Caicos, which is also available to rent out when she's not enjoying it. The model has often shared her vacation pad on Instagram, which tends to impress her followers, no doubt. Christy's getaway is dubbed Lucky House, and it's a three bedroom villa right on the beach that also comes with its own butler service. If you want to rent it when Christy isn't there, it'll cost about $945 per night. The end
entryway has twinkling lights and a ton of greenery, while inside the beach bungalow is common spaces with high beam ceilings for an airy feel. Sliding glass doors in the living areas also blend the indoor spaces with outside attaching to the pool deck. The fully equipped kitchen has a butler's entrance, polished wood, tiled floors, and modern stainless steel appliances. A neutral color palette of whites and sandy beige are dominant in Christie's beach house, including the light colored sofa in the main open living room, where this model's dog has been seen relaxing. In terms of the dining room, the interiors are inspired by her travels to Asia, and there's a massive wood table to host guests here. Each of the bedrooms boasts ocean views, screen terraces with day beds, and indoor and outdoor showers. Outside Christie's home, there are sun loungers, plenty of decks to relax, and even swinging benches throughout the property to truly feel like you're on vacation. Of course, despite its beach location, there's still a private infinity pool, which is always necessary in a hot place like this. Well, while Christy Brinkley may spend most of her downtime in her lavish Hamptons home these days, we also know that she has a spot in Turks and Caicos to retreat to as well. All right, guys, well, that's gonna conclude our Christy Brinkley house tour. After checking out three of her properties, past and present, which was your personal favorites? I think I loved her main Tower Hill mansion. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As usual, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another house tour. Bye.